Alright guys, today we are back to talk about the T-Mobile Wi-Fi once again. Um, I actually got a lot of interest on my unboxing of the T-Mobile um, router modem when I did that video. Um, a lot of people wanted me to, or not a lot, there was a couple comments people that wanted me to keep um, keep them updated on how it was working. Um, and I'm actually going to be sending this back. It's not necessarily the fault of the service, uh, the quality of service, or the router um, itself. If you're using this as a just a regular home internet connection for a couple people um, and you have good service in your area, you're going to be just fine. I did not have bad service at this, with this at all. I was getting about 100 megabits per second down and about 10 up, which for an LTE connection is pretty good. My um, cable gives me about 300 down and 30 up. Um, kind of varies on the upload from 15 to 30, you know, depending on how, the, how they're feeling that day. Um, what my intention was to do was to use the Ubiquiti Edge Router X to make this a load balancing connection and use my cable modem and this in combination um, and then this one would also act, uh, well they would both act in failover um, so if one of the connections was down um, as long as they weren't both down I would still have internet access and that worked just fine so if you're looking for a failover connection 50 bucks a month you can do that with this but the issue I was having with this was the fact that it is a modem router combo and the router on this cannot be disabled, it cannot be put in bridge mode or anything like that. You have to use the router on this device. Um, so being the fact that I had to plug it up to my Edge Router X to do that load balancing and then that failover, um, I was having a double NAT uh, configuration which is not a good thing necessarily. Um, and I also had two routers on the same network going through each other. Um, now that worked just fine as long as you set the IP address on this, on the LAN port on this. Um, obviously outside your network, so like my local network is 192.168.1. You know, XXX, whatever. Um, so this one I set to 192.168.200.1, and it, uh, it would assign IP addresses on the .200 subnet, and it gave, you know, my Edge Router X an IP address in that range, and then my modem gave my um, Edge Router X the WAN IP address for my ISP, which is configured via DHCP. So the, the internet itself worked. Um, but the issue arose in the, like I said, it's the double NAT configuration, which isn't always a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing either. Um, some people may have issues, some people may not, just depending on what you're doing. If you're doing a lot of gaming and stuff like that, you would definitely not want that um, on your setup. The issue I was having, though, was the DNS. Um, the DNS was not passing through this, so if something was trying to get a DNS request through this it would not work and that's why I'm returning it plain and simple everything else though is great the connection was working just fine and the service was great as well if you have any other questions feel free to comment them down below and I will answer them as best I can